Sup, devils? Check it out back to answer more goddamn questions. Questions where we're going over today. All right, the video posted three weeks ago. Flush Parade is better than Terrorizer? Question marks. All the way at the bottom of that video. First question marks I'm seeing is from Crimson Cochurdo. Shout out to you, Bravo. I think I kind of recognize your user ID. J Dog. So, question marks. It sounds like you just have a sensitivity about people who go to college and drink coffee from Starbucks. <laughs> is that an inferiority thing? First of all, so what I take out of you asking that question is you go to college and you drink Starbucks every day. So you're like, oh, I don't like him calling this shit out or ripping on it. First of all, I just say because I'm just joking around. I drink at Starbucks too. So you guys all need, and I'm saying you guys, just people in the world, just because somebody says something about something you do, chill the fuck out. I mean, unless they're being malicious about it or a complete jerk, I'm just joking around. Who gives a fuck? Do what the fuck you want to do. At the end of the day, I, do I care if someone goes to Starbucks and et cetera? I don't know what the uh, going to college thing went through, but I'll comment on that in a second. I uh, don't think I already mentioned that in this channel. Uh, yeah, do whatever the fuck you want to do. You shouldn't care what J-Dog fucking thinks. At the end of the day, you shouldn't care what J-Dog's opinion is. The only reason you should be watching this channel is for entertainment purposes and possible, like, I, 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 I tend to like other bands that he mentions. So maybe he'll mention something else that I'll check out. So kind of educational purposes, purposes on bands because you already have a similar music and taste. Outside that, you shouldn't be fucking caring or even agree, trying to agree or think what I do. That's my opinion. That's not you. You're not. You're not J Dog. I'm J Dog. You're you're Crimson Cohorto. Be Crimson Cohorto or whatever the hell your user idea is. You know, be you. So yeah, drink your Starbucks all fucking day by the goddamn gallon for all I care and go to school. Now, as far as going to college, yeah, I don't think I've ever brought that up. I will say that, just it's on topic, it's never got brought up. I think most people going to college, I think, should strongly question, why are you going? Uh, what is your end game? For example, it has times when absolutely you need to go. If your goal is to be a doctor or a lawyer, and that's what you truly want to do, well, then, yeah, you have to go to college. There's no question about it. You have to go to law school or medical school. That's There's no way around it. But a lot of times... People go to college, they don't even use their degree. It's like, why did you waste all that money? That was a complete waste of time and money. Didn't you have an, or I've, I'll talk to people sometimes and they're going to college and they're like, what is your, like, what are you looking to do? Like, oh, I'm not sure yet. Well, why are you in college then, dude? Like that's, you're wasting all that money going there for nothing if you don't even know what the fuck you're going to do. And all those, also a lot of times, sometimes their end game, you hear what they're talking about. Like, oh, I'm going to business school because I want to open my own business. You don't need to go to college to do that, man, because you're not going to a company to get hired. You're trying to open your own business. You can literally self-teach all yourself that shit between YouTube, social media, and just, just books, except what you've probably not yet. Honestly, probably just from A to Z on YouTube from just listening to other business owners telling them, telling their story. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go to, I didn't go to college. I didn't go to business school. I was able to open a business. So yeah, you, but I understand if you want to learn the in and outs and about accounting and things like that, if you want to do yourself, okay, that's cool. But you don't need to go to college to do that. You can literally do that all for hundred percent fucking free. So I just think a lot of, I have nothing against, if you want to go to college and shit like that, by all means, go go, go for from age 18 to the day you die for all I give a shit. I'm just saying, I think a lot of people, they just go, again, they're being sheep, falling the other sheep up the fucking, he, up the hill. Be the fucking lion and go around the fucking hill and be ready to slaughter those goddamn sheep when they get up, when they get a, to the fucking top. He went around, he went the other different way. Be Think for yourself. Don't just go because mommy and daddy said, well, when you got out of school, you got to go to college. College for what? You don't, you don't even know what the fuck you want to do. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your money. That's all I'm saying. But if you have your mind made up, you have dead set, and it's in a, going to college is a requirement, then yeah. But again, that's just my opinion. If you totally disagree and you're going, you're like, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm 20 years old. I'm going right now. Fuck this J-Dog. Yeah, fuck J-Dog. Who gives a shit what J-Dog thinks? And at the end of the day, it's not like I dislike you because you're going. I don't give a shit. You want to piss away your time and money? Go right the fuck ahead. Doesn't, makes no difference to me. That's the goddamn question. Where the fuck's it at? Grind crusher question. Why do people suck so much? Uh, it's from numerous reasons. To be quick, completely honest, it was kind of like what I stated below, in a sense. People bringing something up and almost getting a little salty, at the very least salty, if not offended or flat out, at the worst, straight up pissed off, because you stated your opinion, and they're like, well, I do that. Okay. That's like, if somebody states their opinion, and they do all the time. Guys that go to the gym all the time are fucking low IQ goddamn meatheads. That's me. Do I give a fuck if somebody says that? Okay, I guess I'm a low IQ meathead. He's entitled to his opinion. 
I'm still going to go go out and do that. I'm the, I'm the guy that goes to the gym all the time. That's that, I guess I'm a low, I guess that makes me a low IQ meathead. I'm not going to go on his channel or talk, dude, actually, my IQ is actually pretty average or above average. Or I've never actually tested, but, uh, and yeah, I go to the gym, but that doesn't talk about it. Like justifying or like I have to explain myself. No, whatever. That guy has his opinion. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. And, and especially if it's somebody you don't even know. If you don't even know them, why do you why do you value their opinion so much? Well, I don't, J Dog. Well, clearly you do because you're getting all upset. So I would say, funny you ask, why do people suck so much? I would say that's that's probably the biggest problem with people of today, especially because with social media, is is everybody getting all up in arms over a difference of an opinion, especially when it comes to that stupid ass politics shit. They get all up in arms over the opposing side saying, giving their opinions on shit. That's what the, the biggest reason people suck in, in my book as far as in today's society. Life Eternal, shitload of question marks. Still not a huge grind guy. Bar some of the gore bands. Any recommendations for straightforward grindcore that isn't lame? Well, I mean, Terrorize the Top, that isn't fucking lame. Flesh Parade. Um... To be honest, as far as straight grindcore, I don't like a ton of it either. That's why it's so funny when I kind of been labeled that as well. I'm like mostly grind. I'm like, actually, especially like you said, just straight up grindcore. Not really. I don't like much at all. But other ones, um, I to consider a uh, Repulsion Horrified a straight up grindcore record. I do. So that, and then for me, if, if you consider that just a straight up grindcore record, I consider that the greatest grindcore record of all fucking time. Uh, some people would just call that a death metal record, but I'm saying if you call it grindcore, that uh, early Napalm Death and a lot of the 2000s Napalm Deaths, especially like Enemy of the Music Business, Mirror Campaign, that's straight up uh, grindcore that I like a lot. Uh, I like some Phobia albums, especially um, Cruel, I believe. Uh, some of the, uh, nothing by Phobia I ever heard suck, but I mean, their catalog was huge. I'm just kind of like, oh, this a millionth time. Uh, Bird Flesh was definitely one of my favorite straight up grindcore bands. That's just straight up grindcore. So Bird Flesh. Um, Balming Theater, I guess. Uh, I, I like a Balming Theater a lot, but I don't know if that'd be more gore grind. It's kind of like in the middle, what I would consider like straight up grind core and gr and gore grind. But them and Balming Theater, um, who am I forgetting? Send me, well, obviously, yeah, I said Terrorize World Downfall, Flush Parade. Um, I got, did I say Agathicles? I definitely like some stuff by Agathicles, but they're the same both at boat as, um, as, uh, fucking, um, Phobia. Like, they get so much shit, but everything's pretty good. Like, the Black Clouds, Determinate, and shit. Like, usually the most of the albums and the earlier albums. Um, them, uh, Nazem, Inhale, Exhale. That's a great, straightforward grindcore record. Um, from what I, most people that like uh, straight up all grindcore, they like everything by Nazem. I just didn't really know it all as well. I own Inhale, Exhale. I've listened to, like, the 2.0. Don't really remember it, but I never heard anything that sucked. But I could definitely vouch for Inhale, Exhale. That's a, that's a fucking great grindcore record. Um, there's others, but there, there's there's some shit for you right there that, that that's just straight up grindcore that, that I personally like, listen to, and own. You know, it's funny. You saw that they got comments in here, too. What, a bunch of people reply to them. What do they say? Dan Lord, Fur Force, Guy Phobia, Goat Z66DB, uh, Nazem, Inhale, Exhale. Oh, you put out a bunch of uh, Brutal Truth, Extreme Conditions. You know, Brutal Truth's a band I got to kind of go back to, but I have twice. Listen to them as a teenager, but I knew I, I was always, what is it, that um, Sounds of the Animal Kingdom, and that, because that was the album that was out at the time, and the one with the guys killing himself in the cover, The Shadow. What is that one called? Those were the two, because those were the two kind of more recent ones on Relapse Records when I was, you know, young and ordered from Relapse. I heard those, and I'm like, I don't really like them. And then, uh, remember, maybe I was talking to, Maybe it was Kanye or somebody like, oh, dude, yeah, you got to check out the earlier albums. Like, it's more. And I think I did check out the first one. Which one was the first one? Uh, forget the title. And I, I listened to my 20s. And I don't really like this either. So I've been meaning to kind of like maybe it's, it's my 30s, you know, revisit them. But in my mind, I've never really, everything I heard, I never, never really cared for. Uh, somebody else, what they put in here. Uh, you put, uh, yeah, Nazem Inhale, Exhale, fucking Goats. So that's the uh, Rotten Sound, Dan Lord put in there. Rotten Sound was a band that, I remember not liking, but it's, it's, uh, I've only checked them out. Uh, a bunch of other weird bu bullshit ass fucking comments here. They're right, God damn it. Go with J Dog's picks, God damn it. Can't go wrong with those. And if you don't like those, then I would just go and I would conclude for yourself that you pretty much don't like Grindcore. And 
Hey, nothing wrong with that. Mike Violet, question, J-Dog, would you do in, what the fuck, would you do in this made-up scenario? You show up to the gym per usual, and the, I know you guys have sepulter, sepulter up in there, guys, there. He didn't say it was so fly up in there. He recognizes you, and he talks to you, like, between every set. I, that would be, if anyone's talking to me between every set, I'd be extremely annoyed very, very fucking fast. Then this repeats the dude actually shows up every day for six months straight. Would you have to change your gym? Would you have to change gyms? No, I would have to sh tell him. You know, it's funny because I have this track record for people knowing me that they tend to think that I automatically tell just strangers or whatever people to fuck off, which is kind of true, but mostly not true. Because, like, for example, at the gym, if somebody's talking to me and it's generally someone like I don't want to, I'm known for being very friendly and probably more talkative than I should be because it's just kind of backfiring and now this guy wants to chat with me, right? Like there's even times like Lindsay's kind of annoyed because she turns like, let's get moving. But I'm trying to be nice. But do I even want to talk to him? No. The only time I'll fucking kind of be a dick is when it's almost kind of uh, justified to me. You know what I mean? I don't know. Not because they're a dick, but almost just because they're just being radically fucking stupid. Let's just say that, um, whether it be the gym or anywhere. So, but other than that, actually, I'm probably more friendly than the average person, even though nobody thinks to seem that that'd be the case. Like, oh, yeah, he would just tell him to fuck off right out the gate. Not, usually, no, that's actually not the case. Um, but in a scenario like that, I mean, because the gym's three minutes from my house. To be honest, the house that I live in now, been here for like five years now, that was part of the reason I bought the house is because it was three minutes from the gym I go to, and it was uh, it's seven minutes from the warehouse. And I go to both all the time. So I'm like, quality of life. I was like, I'm right there. Because if you're driving 30 to 45 minutes a day, and I've been there again, don't get offended because you do and I don't have to. I have done it when I had to, too. That sucks. That your quality of life is, has gone down because you're wasting, well, if it's 30 minutes one way, you're wasting an hour of your day every single day, five days a week. So you do 40 hours a week. Well, you're actually doing 45 hours a week now because hour, five days a week. So that's five hours you lost. Think about what you could get done in five hours of your time. You know, pretty much all your house chores and groceries are done like that. Done within the five hours of time. So that shaves that off. So that's a complete waste of fucking time. And now your quality of life has gone down. And I know that because like when I was working at the print shop and shit, that's what it was. I drove when I worked there for four years, uh, 30 minutes every day. And I knew it back then. I'm like, this fucking sucks, especially when you get caught in traffic. So that's why. It sounds silly. You buy your house because the gym you go to and the warehouse. Yeah, it's quality of life. Goes. I mean, if it's something, I was like, these are two places that I plan on going to every day for quite some time. I not, I'm not stopping going to the gym any motherfucking time soon. And warehouse, we're not moving anytime soon. And I have zero fucking uh, ambitions or thoughts of doing anything else. So theoretically, I'm doing this minimally for the next 10 to 15 years. Yeah, I want a house that's super fucking close. You know, under 10 minutes. If it was one minute, that'd be even better. So that was part of the reason why I bought the house. So I wouldn't leave that gym because that was, you know, I'm so fucking close. At that point, I would tell the guy to fuck off. <laughs> but, you know, very first, I'd be, probably, I'd be kind of friendly. I'd probably be a little, well, for him, because he's such a fucking canoe. I wouldn't tell him to fuck off, but I'd be kind of like standoffish at first. But if he kept, I'd just be like, dude, you got to leave me alone. When I'm training, this is a no-go. I got shit to do. I'm not here to fucking, uh, this may be your social time, but it's not mine. I'm here to work, so go bother someone else. That it, I probably worded something like that. Oh, here we go. The uh, uh, guy has his Hemdale answer. Okay, carnivorous carnage two one three, addicted to vaginal sin, skin sample is from an interview with Arthur Shawcross. Oh, so that's a serial killer. So I do recognize the name, but I don't think I've ever seen, I've seen interviews with him or anything. Arthur Shawcross, huh? So he cut out a girl's vagina and ate it. Is that, or is that, so he's saying he did that, huh? Did he actually do that? Or was it more, what I'm calling out in my later days, Albert Fish bullshit, just him, not saying Albert Fish didn't kill kids or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he probably did. But I think he amped it up. Like, all right, chewed on his nuts and spit them out. I, I cut his throat and drank the blood. It's like, dude, did you really do all that? I mean, I mean, it's possible. I mean, anything's possible. But I'm, it just sounds, the, him talking it up, it sounds like, uh, I don't know about that, man. Um, that's the same with Arthur Sharpless. Did you actually do that? Maybe, but I, I have my doubts. The Hemdale sample is from a movie, movie, 
what the fuck movie, huh? About Henry Lee Lucas called Serial Killer. Pretty shit movie. <laughs> okay. I can see that too, how he's talking. Oh, yeah, I don't like to get those pornographic magazines talking all stuff. The Hill Jack is a motherfucker. And I have seen Henry Lee Lucas. The guy, not only was he Hill Jack, he was, he had to have a fucking, like, shit, possibly single digit fucking IQ. That guy was dumb as a fucking rock. You just tell on the, uh, uh, him talking shit. So, yeah. That's so I, whoever the actor was, did a pretty damn good job. Because he did kind of come off as, uh, Henry Lee Lucas sounding. This guy keeps with it. This is definitely going to be the third time. Well, I guess I did tell you guys to do that. Uh, he must have, RJ, CJ, and he watches all the time. So, yeah, he keeps asking about the email music. But I answered that, what, three videos back? I keep, I was like, oh, fuck, am I, still, am I going on the wrong goddamn video? <laughs> Go to concert, ask me, which albums do you generally put on when you conduct seances? I don't, I don't conduct seances, so none. What do I know about the grind band Dahmer Dog? Don't know anything about, but, uh, um, that's not a um unexpected name that a grind band would use for a band, but I I don't know the band Donner. Mike Violet asking about another head bash. Kind of answered that just previously. Yeah, we're talking about it. We're talking, but realistically, I would say there's almost no way whatsoever we there would be an actual Hell's Head Bash, like a fest, two, three day fest, that it would be any sooner than 2025. But it's um Talk and maybe we do is maybe just like one off show. It was a one day show. So. Phil Anselmo's boxers. J Dog, was the last time you were in the hood 1994? <laughs> Question mark. No one wears baggy jeans or or started jacket or starter jackets anymore. Dude, there's they wear baggy pants. We talk about. It. I see people nowadays. I mean, I'm not driving through the fucking hood, but I see. Actually, to be honest with you, I kind of drive through the hood quite quite often. It's not the hood, but at the same time, it kind of is the hood. When you're going to no class, there's the West 117th Street that I have to cut down in, in Lakewood slash Cleveland. Complete shithole. I mean, I've seen bigger shitholes, and I know there's bigger shitholes that are even bigger shitholes than the shitholes that I've seen of the biggest shitholes, right? So I'm not going to go as far as, I mean, it's, it's fucking goddamn Beverly Hills compared to some of the, the King shitholes that I've never been to, nor would I ever want to. But what are, you, what are you talking about? Like I see people all the time. It's it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a uh, yeah again just a less shithole hood. But at the same time, still I wouldn't want to live there. That's for goddamn sure. Every time I go to the shows on there, cut through there. I see what are you talking about people wear baggy pants all the time. Like okay, if they're not exact blue jeans, but the baggiest fuck droopy pants, we see that shit all the time. So yeah, they do. And starter jackets, okay, maybe not that brand, but the equivalent, those big poofy fucking jackets and shit. It's just, I still see that shit to this day in the winter time and during the uh, what's, what's now it's winter time here in Ohio. See it all the time. We talking about. So yeah, twenty twenty three. I still see it. Don't know where the fuck you live. What's some more? Here we go uh, from Nail Black. I think there's some light goddamn question marks though. There, Nail Black almost overlooked them. Question marks, question answered. The quote from, uh, ah, God damn it. Yeah, same thing about uh, Addicted to Vagile Skid. He's just answering the question. Some of these, I am seeing question marks, but I'm skipping over because I'm seeing what the question is just without even reading it, and it's, it's literally shit that I have no thoughts on whatsoever. So, um, like, bands I never heard of and crap like that. So, I'll just skip past those because nothing to say on them. Uh, distributive call poems. Hey, J-Dog, if the ever- Questionable Eric Records won't reissue slash remaster Terrorizer World Downfall. Would it be impossible for HHR to do that? To to do what they won't? Actually, uh, Terrorizer specifically would not be impossible. Eric is such a with it company, and they actually referred to Morbid Angel on the cover sticker seen on formulas as Black Metal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, Eric, I mean, does anybody up there listen to metal? Maybe somebody does, but I, I strongly have to buy they don't. But as far as terrorizer, when you're asking that, I mean that I, that's kind of I want to say weird that you're asking that, but that's not a hard album. Again, it's still readily available, definitely on CD and vinyl. They've reissued it several times. Now, what I do want to see come out, and I've been saying this for fucking years, and I'm shocked somebody hasn't fucking bootlegged it yet. And here's the here's the here's the thing: what'll happen is somebody will eventually bootleg it. The longer they wait, 
and those fucking tampon boy pussy ass fucking posers are gonna bitch and whine. It's like, dude, what are you waiting for? The fortieth year? Because it's already going on. Fuck, because it's going on forty. Then six more years, it'll be forty goddamn years. You've never done it. It's a twelve inch picture. This terrorizer world downfall has never been on twelve inch picture. This, and if I'm wrong, find an image and send it to me because I've never seen it. Never seen it on on uh, eBay discogs. I even Google image searched it. I've never seen one in person. I've asked people in the know. Doesn't seem to be the case. Because even one of them, like, what, what, what the fuck? That's never been? How is that possible? Never been on 12-inch picture this. I would sure like one. I'd put that fucking uh, classic banger, a banger on my walls. So I'd be really interested in the hell's doing that. But a reissued vinyl, not that I'd be against the uh, hell's doing it. If I do it in my mind, what I would think is some type of colored vinyl that's never been done. And also on a gatefold cover, because yeah, that, that LP's been repressed multiple times. Just in hell's time, I can say for a fact, we've had at least three different pressings. I remember we got a pressing, it was on like a really heavy hundred, really heavy black vinyl in the early 2000s, probably around 03 or so. Then it came out on color vinyl at least two other times, years and years later. Like I think the last time it came out uh, was maybe five years ago. Not not Nothing crazy time frame. So they have kept it in circulation, but I don't think it's ever had a gatefold cover. So if we were to do it, do it with a 12-inch gatefold cover this time. And then, um, but yeah, that picture of them goddamn poser-ass fucking canoes, they, they probably don't even realize it. Because I'm telling you right now, again, there might be one or two guys over there that listen to it or know it. They, they, they don't even listen to the record. I guarantee they don't. Guarantee fucking see they don't. Now, the goddamn owner of the company, yeah, of course, he's heard it. Because here, I can tell you what the, whoever owns here, right? I don't even know who that fucking is. I can tell you what it is, dude. He used to listen to this shit back then. He was cool about it. He's probably into like grindcore and extreme stuff and the punk and stuff like that. Now he's just listening to classic rock. He's burned out. He's, he has no, no um, interest in checking out bands of today or the last 20 years. Has no fucking idea. And, and there's no idea who they even fucking are. He probably doesn't even know who goddamn Hemorrhage is. You know what I mean? Like he just, he's just that out of the goddamn loop because he just has zero fucking interest. 90% positive that's, it's, it's something along those goddamn lines. Whoever that is. So of course he doesn't give a shit about Terrorizer. Because that's the thing. If it was ran by a true fan, he, he would have done a classic like Terrorizer World. He would, he would have done it. Just for the uh, pure wants it out for himself and commemorate it perspective alone. Nonetheless, you just, and business is definitely going to sell. So you can't you can't throw that out there. You're automatically going to make money on, on a title like that. So what's your excuse? Excuse is he's not a fucking fan. That's that's how it would be. Why well, do you know, j Dog? Because they're, they're, I'm a big believer with everything in this world, actions speak loud in the words. I kind of don't care what you fucking say. I kind of don't care. Well, well, he did an interview on YouTube, and he was mentioning that he likes Slayer and Black Sabbath. That don't tell me shit, man. His actions speak louder than fucking words. That's how I know he's a fucking poser. Just like with all these fucking other bozo-ass motherfuckers I bring up. Their actions speak louder than their goddamn words. That's how I know. And if I'm wrong occasionally and time to time, cool. But I guarantee if I was Vegas was taking bets, 90% of the time, I'd be winning that fucking bet when I'm calling these fucking bozo-ass posers out. That's exactly what the fuck it is. Guys, what's the judge? You gonna do? Put the guys back and answer right in the morning. Later, goddammit.